can never see it, but there are lots of ways to say it. Bad breath, morning breath, cigarette breath, dog breath, coffee breath, or the technical definition, anatosis. Determining whether you have bad breath is more a test of how well you read the social cues of others. Sure. So these are the prizes. Any comments or feedback on the presentation? So we've all done a hand check like this before, right? But other than a false sense of security, and maybe a hand that kind of smells, what's it prove? Not much. But what we do know is you are what you eat. The food you eat is absorbed into the bloodstream, gets transferred to your lungs, then out of your mouth when you breathe. Another cause is poor oral health. Bacteria from tooth decay or gum problems can linger in your mouth like a vacationing house guest. So ask yourself, are you really washing and flossing as well as you can? Are you doing that regularly as well as in your bowel against halitosis? Speaking of bacteria, your tongue can be a magnet for unpleasant germs and smells. Don't forget it when you're brushing. If your tongue feels like it needs to be shaved with a straight razor, brushing may not be enough. Get a tongue cleaner and scrape it clean. You might even get a free one when you go to the dentist. And this may seem obvious, but oh, do tobacco? No. You're welcome. How wet is your whistle? Saliva is the body's natural way of keeping your mouth cleansed, and your salivary glands don't work as well if your well is dry. <sighs> Finally, persistent bad breath could be the sign of a major medical problem, like acid reflux, sinus infections, or even diabetes. So make sure you are getting regular medical attention and following any special instructions your doctor may give you. And never refuse a breath mint.